16th, 2020. Day five of DTV's life during COVID-19. Um, it is currently almost five o'clock. I was driving through like their par parking garage at the hospital because I was going for the doctor's appointment. And it was, it was weird. It was almost empty on a couple of the levels, which that's not normal for U of M. What's up guys, it's Mason Palmentier coming at you with day five of life during coronavirus. It's been a pretty laid back day for me. Normally right now, it's about like four o'clock right now. I'd be doing homework after school, be waiting for dinner to be ready or something like that. But don't have any homework to work on because I didn't go to school because no one went to school across the whole state because of the shutdown that was announced on Thursday. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty laid back day for me. I've just been sitting around, relaxing, this little surprise vacation. <laughs> I do know, the last last I checked, the amount of cases in Michigan for coronavirus climbed up to 53 confirmed cases, so that's something to look out for. And I saw this interview earlier with this basketball player, Donovan Mitchell, and he said that he was asymptomatic when he had it. Like, if he was walking around the street, on the streets, no one would know he had it, so basically just kind of a reminder that even if you don't think you have it, you might have it, you never know. So just keep washing your hands really good, using hand sanitizer when when you don't have soap, and when you do use soap, use hot water. Hey guys, so this is now day five of the coronavirus. Um, so uh, today I don't really have much planned um, other than me and Ryan are going out to downtown to try and see how busy it is and how not busy it is um, going around to get some more footage and stuff um, but I heard that Governor Whitmer has now declared that all restaurants and bars are to be closed by three um, and I work at Subway and last night we were so dead um, it was kind of weird because normally we're a very busy store we're down in downtown off a of main street so we're normally not that slow um so it was definitely it was interesting um so yeah and then now with us having to close at three i don't i don't know how that's gonna affect but we're gonna go around downtown me and ryan get some shots see how busy it is and i'll let you guys know when we're there why don't worry going on a lot of people are kind of freaking out because with this kind of comes the severity of this is a real thing this is important and this is serious and i think from here it's kind of going to get worse i have the sneaking suspicion but at the same time i know that i can't really sit and i can't be anxious about that happening and just worry about that there's still a lot of important stuff that you can do for example since school's out right now like you can still study for stuff that you know you were going to learn you can still listen to podcasts you can still watch videos you can still play video games you can still read books you can still do all of this stuff to get your mind off of it know it's there but don't wallow in it hey guys it's maddie um it's day five and this morning my family went to birch run and all of the stores were closed except for one and there was only like one other person there besides the cashier. Um, and then I also went to McDonald's earlier and the only thing you could do was the drive through. You can go in and sit and eat. There was no sitting and eating and relaxing and having a good time. There was sitting in your car waiting for 10 minutes just to place your order. Um, and all of the people at the windows were all wearing gloves. And I could overhear some of the workers in the back whispering, don't get too close, remember, don't get too close. But, yeah, that was kind of weird. Right now, the only thing that really affected my life is the fact that um, my brother was supposed to come home from the military, and we weren't supposed to know about it. And they, um, my dad was on the phone with the airport and I came out and he was like, yeah, my son is supposed to come home. Can we cancel the ticket? Cause he can't come home anymore. The military said that they're not allowed to. 
And so because of circumstances, could I get my money refunded? And um, so I heard him talking about that. And after he got off the phone, I was like, he was supposed to, like, he was supposed to come home. Like, when was he going to come home? And my dad was like, dumb cars. <laughs> and my dad said um, he was supposed to come home tomorrow. He was going to surprise everybody. But um, he obviously he can't because the military, I think he said the Pentagon or whatever, um, said that military people are not allowed to go anywhere, whether they're already home or... Um, yeah, yeah, whether they're already home, they can't go back, and if they're on base and was going to leave, like my brother, they are not allowed to. So, my brother was uh, supposed to come home for 10 days, but he um, cannot, so he's just going to take his leave, like, in, he's in San Diego, California, that's where he's stationed, he's in the Navy, and so... Yeah, that's kind of one thing that's affecting my life, I guess. Um, even though I didn't really know about it, so it's not like I was, like, worked up or, like, oh, my God, my brother's coming home. Like, that's so fun. But um, it still kind of sucks to think that um, he won't be able to. And, like, we don't know, obviously, when when he will come home. Um, but, yeah, so that that's one thing that kind of sucks in my life. So while me and Ryan were out, we decided to get some shots through Broadview Estates. And while we were driving around, we saw there was one of Davison's buses coming around and giving students their lunches for those who may not have stuff at home. Um, Cause I know that's been a major issue. So yeah, they have little lunches already set, both teachers and other faculty and other volunteers. It's crazy how so much has been changing within 24 hours or even hour to hour I feel like there's new stuff I've actually had to write down some notes of uh, what I wanted to talk about in my video diary one thing that stands out to me was the debate last night um, between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden um, no audience so this was really weird to watch it was so quiet um, but I actually kind of liked it I, I feel like they should do all debates like that from now on, um, there was less screaming and hollering and playing to an audience, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so that was actually kind of a, a cool thing <laughs> to witness. So just between yesterday and today, I'm highly rethinking getting outside. You know, everything went from like, ah, oh, we're just gonna flatten the curve, it's fine, still live your life. Um, but, you know, maybe we're not in, like, huge, massive crowds. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, well, it's okay for me then to go about my day. And um, I'll be honest, yesterday I went and got a massage. Um, I had had a gift card, and I've been feeling super stressed. And I wanted to finally use it. And me thinking, well, you know, it's not like I'm in a crowd of people, and I know that they keep everything clean um but yeah and then last night I you know saw Ohio closing restaurants and bars and all that yesterday and I really started to think that I make a poor decision hello my name is Isaac Melton it is currently day five of the coronavirus outbreak school shutdown and I'm over at my dad's right now in Holly, Michigan. It's so far going fine. My stepmom's out going grocery shopping right now. Nothing is available. Like even we have a local grocery store here called Holly Foods, which currently has no bread and no toilet paper. So that'll be fun to try to do. I'm going to have a turkey sandwich. Well, croissant turkey sandwich for lunch tomorrow. So. I'll be seeing you guys later. I got family coming up here soon, and they're coming up from coming down from the UP. It's gonna. Be, I wonder how this is all gonna work out. If they actually are coming, I haven't heard word of anything yet. If it affects other people, it can also affect their work. My brother, who, who works at U of M Ann Arbor, he's um not a teacher. He's one of the accountants and, and such. Um, he's now working from home. He has sent me a couple pictures of him sitting at the dinner table with his laptop open on a 
sort of video call with his other workmates at work and they're at their respective homes. Um, it's kind of funny because he's a jokester and he hasn't joked about this. It's change people, changes people. Um, I know that yesterday, me and my dad, we went to um, the Myers and Davison here and the toilet paper was gone again. So it was a hand sanitizer, the soap, um, canned food. Canned food was gone. It's kind of hard out there getting food now. We're going to have to start trying to grow our own food or something like that. Um, I've heard that more cases are coming in by Michigan. Could have firmed cases. There could be a lot of more undiagnosed cases that we don't know about yet. They still haven't gotten tested, everyone. Um, but the toilet paper. In Myers, they had signs saying five per customer, and then Ed Sharpie crossed out and put a two out of whack. But what can you say? People are scared. This is very, very weird. This is not something that I thought would happen. Where we're all seeing schools can close. I know all the restaurants and bars are closed. This is strange. I don't know how to describe it. It's just really strange. 